Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. If you're thinking about getting a fire stick or you're new to using a fire stick, you're making a great choice for your streaming device. Fire sticks are affordable with a nice looking design that's simple and easy to use. You can quickly get started watching that great box set that you've been meaning to stream. This is a complete beginner's guide to fire sticks from the basics, such as which model to choose and how to set a fire stick up, to some more advanced hints and tips. If you want to learn more about this slick and powerful stick, then let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. The Amazon Fire TV Stick, or as it's more commonly shortened to, Fire Stick, is a small streaming device manufactured by Amazon that plugs into a HDMI port on the back of your TV. This allows you to connect to the internet and stream videos on demand on your TV. The Fire Stick works like your smartphone, installing and using apps. It essentially turns your TV into a smart TV. That doesn't necessarily mean though that if you already have a smart TV, you do not need a Fire Stick. I have three TVs in my home and all of them are smart TVs, but I still use a Fire Stick with each one. Most smart TVs are limited by what apps you can install and it's often difficult or impossible to sideload other apps so you are stuck with the apps that come from your smart TV's app store. That is not the case with the Fire Stick. It's much more flexible in what you can do with it and install on it. As of the start of 2022, there are four different models of Fire Stick to choose from. The main differences being processing power, RAM, resolution output, and remote control. The newest and most expensive is the Fire TV Stick 4K Max at $54.99. This Fire Stick boasts Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, 4K streaming, a fast and powerful processor, 2 gigs of RAM and a remote control that also controls your TV power and volume. If you're not concerned about Wi-Fi 6 but you still want to stream in 4K, the Fire TV Stick 4K with a slightly older processor and 1.5 gigs of RAM is $49.99. You do not need a 4K TV or a streaming service that streams in 4K to use either of these Fire Sticks. Because they come with a better processor and more RAM, they run faster and give you a smoother user experience compared to the HD Fire Sticks. If 4K viewing is not high on your priority list, but being able to control your TV with the same remote is, then the Fire TV Stick is $39.99 and gives a maximum resolution output of Full HD in 1080p. And finally, the cheapest Fire Stick is the Fire TV Stick Lite at $29.99 and also streams in Full HD. The difference is that the remote doesn't have the functions to power or change the volume of your TV. Regularly throughout the year, Fire Sticks go on sale, usually for occasions like Mother's Day, Easter, Prime Day or Black Friday, and you can save up to 70% off of the regular retail price. Once you've purchased your chosen model of Fire Stick, all you need is a TV with a HDMI port, Wi-Fi and an Amazon account. There are no hidden extra monthly costs or subscriptions. 
That is, of course, unless you want to subscribe to services such as Netflix, Prime Video or Hulu, for example. If you're buying a Fire Stick because you're looking to cut the cord, there are loads of really great apps that will give you live TV, TV shows, box sets and movies completely for free. I have separate videos and playlists for all of the best free apps that you can get on your Fire Stick, so make sure to check those out as well. This is the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but all Fire Stick models come in a similar box with the same accessories. Inside you will find the remote control, Fire TV Stick, power cable, documentation, two AA batteries for the remote control, wall plug and HDMI extender. The Fire Stick plugs directly into a HDMI port on the back of your TV. Or you can use the HDMI extender by plugging the Fire Stick into it and plugging the extender into the HDMI port on your TV. The HDMI extender can be useful in getting a better Wi-Fi signal and can also help to reduce overheating. All Fire Sticks require power and it's recommended to use the official power cable and wall plug that comes in the box. Plug the micro USB end into the Fire Stick and the USB end of the cable into the USB wall plug. But if your TV has a 5 volt USB port and it's difficult to get power to your Fire Stick using the wall plug, you can power it from your TV's USB port. Once the Fire Stick is plugged into the TV and a power supply, turn the TV on. You will then see the Fire TV logo on screen and you'll be guided through setup step by step, including connecting your Fire Stick to your Wi-Fi. You'll then need an Amazon account to be able to use the Fire Stick and you'll need to sign in with your username and password. If you purchased your Fire Stick directly from Amazon, the Fire Stick will already be registered to your Amazon account so you won't get this screen at setup asking you to sign in. Once you've completed the rest of the setup, including which apps, if any, you want to install, you'll be at the home screen that looks like this. The Fire TV home screen is pretty simple to use, which is one of the reasons why Fire Sticks are so popular. You have advertisements at the top of the screen for movies, shows and Fire TV tips. Under that is the home row where you can switch profiles, find new content, go right to live TV and a row of your most frequently used apps. To view all of your apps select this button here and at the end of the home row you have a cog icon which will take you to the Fire Stick settings. Underneath the home row you'll find your recently watched list, sponsored content, recently used apps and suggestions of what to watch and which apps to install. The content here will vary depending on if you are subscribed to any streaming services and if you've installed the app and signed in. All of the Fire Sticks are now sold with the third generation Alexa voice remote, apart from the Fire TV Stick Lite, which is sold with the second generation Alexa voice remote Lite that does not have the volume and power controls for your TV. The home button takes you to your Fire Stick home screen, or if you press and hold the home button for a few seconds, you can pull up a shortcut menu where you can do things like switch profiles, go to all of your apps, put the Fire Stick to sleep, start screen mirroring or access settings. Above the home button is a circular button for navigation, moving around your screen by pushing it to the left, right, up and down. The button in the middle of the navigation circle is the select button, also referred to as the center button. This button is used to select and confirm any actions like opening an app. The back button will take you back to the previous screen or menu. 
And this one is the menu button. Some people also call it the options button or hamburger button. Then you have play, pause, rewind and fast forward. And if you have the third generation Alexa voice remote, you also have the power, mute and volume buttons for your TV. This button is for live TV and takes you right to the live TV section of your Fire TV. I do have a separate video tutorial that goes into more detail on how the live function works and you can check this out by clicking on the link that's showing above me or down in the description below. There are four quick launch buttons for popular apps which are different depending on where you live. In the UK we have buttons for Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus and Amazon Music but if you are in the US you'll have slightly different ones. And last but not least, there's the Alexa button and you can push and hold and say things like show me new TV shows and Alexa will find and show you TV shows from Prime Video or other supported installed apps. All Fire Sticks come with some pre-installed apps such as Prime Video, IMDB TV, YouTube and Netflix. Some apps you can use for free, such as IMDB TV and YouTube, and some apps you will need a separate subscription for, such as Netflix and Prime Video. To download a new app, you can use your Alexa voice remote, just press and hold the Alexa button and a blue line will pop up at the bottom of the screen. Say the name of the app you want to install and Alexa will search the App Store for you. You can also manually search the App Store. From the home screen, tap over Find, then tap down and select Search. Use the remote with the keyboard on screen and you'll see predictive search results listed below. Tap down and select a search term from the list and you can then select the app and click the download button to install it. The app store that the Fire Stick uses is the Amazon App Store and has thousands of apps that are compatible with your Fire TV. You won't have access to the Google Play Store or any other app store, so you may find that some apps you're searching for can't be found. However, there are ways around this. You can install an app called Downloader that will allow you to download apps from other places. You can get Downloader from the Amazon App Store. Ask Alexa or manually search for Downloader from the App Store as I showed you earlier. After you've installed the Downloader app, open it and make sure you click Allow to access your media. You'll also need to make an adjustment within your Fire Stick settings to allow the Downloader app to install other apps from other places. From your home screen, tap over the cog icon to go into the settings. Tap down and select My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, Find Downloader and select it to turn this option on. You can then open the Downloader app and enter 28907 to access an alternative app store that has apps for free movies, live channels and TV shows. If you'd like to see a more detailed tutorial on how to use this alternative app store, click on the link above me or check it out in the description below. The Fire Stick is really flexible and there are loads of more advanced videos that you can find on my YouTube channel that will help you get the most out of your Fire Stick. From connecting Bluetooth headphones to increasing the storage to screen mirroring your phone, tablet or PC. I hope that this guide has helped you to become more confident with using the Fire Stick and you'll be checking out my other videos for more advanced tips. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers and I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.